potentially dangerous weather system is setting up over a large area. The National Weather Service says, quote, the environment will favor supercells with a risk of tornadoes. 32 million people will be in the path. As the sun set, the thunderheads grew and tornadoes began dropping from the sky across Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. This is a tornado ripping through the city of Tupelo as we speak. Even this local this weatherman was forced to deadly. take cover. Let's go! Now! The line of deadly twisters roared across the south into the early morning hours, leveling buildings and knocking out electricity to tens of thousands. Its speed and power leaving many in shock. Hear the sirens. Lightning tears through the skies near Birmingham. The storm's fury menacing towns all across the south. Sirens blaring, that ominous warning in Alabama that a deadly tornado was on the way. This is the same storm that we're seeing here. This is the same storm that was in Tuscaloosa, that tornado on the ground moving toward Birmingham. Uh, we're going to go down and get shelter right now. We're on top of a hotel. It's just too dangerous up here. Dude, holy crap, that's like two tornadoes over there. 13 tornadoes touching down across Alabama just in the last 24 hours. Massive, violent tornadoes on the ground in Mississippi, demolishing buildings and knocking out power lines in Tupelo. In Mayflower, Arkansas, this bird's eye view shows a destruction from above. Here's a town before the tornado just a few months ago, and here it is after. More than 130 twisters reported since Sunday, from Kansas to North Carolina. Now the threat shifts over to flooding, as Al mentioned, as these strong storms slowly spread east. 80 million Americans are in the grip of a storm that will not quit. Relentless rain is pounding the East Coast. It's a deluge. These violent storms packed with lightning. At one point, more than a thousand strikes per minute. In Pensacola, Florida, nearly two feet of rain in the last 24 hours. Oh my God, those poor people. It was a similar picture 60 miles away in Pensacola, Florida where the powerful system brought a non-stop roll of thunder and lightning. Thousands were left without power. Authorities were forced to shut down a major interstate connecting Mobile and Pensacola after roads became impassable. Cars were abandoned as parking lots filled with water. Now at one point, five inches of rain fell in just 45 minutes, bringing this entire city to a standstill. In the United States, a sinkhole has opened up in a residential neighborhood of northeastern Baltimore, and according to one witness, it appeared as if there'd been a landslide. Measuring a block long, the sinkhole sucked in several cars. It forced the evacuation of a row of houses. In the U.S., dramatic pictures of the moment a huge sinkhole opened up and swallowed several cars in a residential neighborhood of northeast Baltimore. The sinkhole appeared not long after rain drenched central Maryland. Since the explosion, St. Helens has rumbled several times with magma creating a dome inside the crater. And now there are signs of new activity at Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens is a volcano that is very much alive. The surface is swelling up. And now geologists believe the magma is building again, five miles beneath the crater. The discovery is exciting to some who live near the volcano. Well, I think it's actually kind of pretty awesome because that means that the volcano is still showing signs of activity and that means that we still have a living beast living right behind us. Scientists say they don't know when the mountain will erupt again, but with all their instruments on it, they expect to know well in advance. In this remote mountain area of northern Afghanistan, a village should be here. The village and more than 2,000 of its inhabitants are reportedly trapped under the earth after a landslide on Friday. The President of the United States. From Washington, U.S. President Barack Obama expressed his concern and offered American support to Afghanistan. Did you hear that loud boom over the weekend? This is video that one of our Chesterfield viewers sent in from the Crimson Crest neighborhood in the south part of the county. You can actually see the camera shake with that explosion, but that was not the only place that we heard from. Most of the time, this sleepy country neighborhood is quiet, just the sounds of the birds and the trees. This weekend was much different. Neighbors say booms rocked their homes. The whole house shook with this loud boom, kind of like a airplane breaking the sound barrier. Only this happened maybe every 10 minutes. 
Now from the flooding on the East Coast to wildfires burning out of control out West. More than 1,500 homes evacuated in California as high winds and temperatures fuel the massive flame. California's extreme drought has turned these hills into a tinderbox. The wind so fierce, fire crews couldn't put up any helicopters or planes to battle the blaze. It's crazy. More than 700 firefighters are waging a ground war. Hundreds of thousands of dead Asian carp found floating in the Cumberland and Tennessee rivers has been eating at fish and wildlife experts. It's believed to be the largest fish kill ever involving Asian carp. These piles of dead carcasses don't compare to what they've seen at Barkley Dam. They were just lining the banks. They, some were still dying and some had been there for a day or two. Hundreds of thousands, nearly half a million floating in the tailwaters. It was amazing of, of just that many dead fish in one place at one time. All but a few of the dead fish were silver carp. It can rule out oxygen problems, chemical spills, you know, anything like that that man might have done because more species would have been killed, not just one. At least seven people died and another four are missing after a series of explosions caused by a fire at a military munitions depot in the Russian village of Bolshaya Tura, around 6,200 kilometers southeast of Moscow. The explosions were caused by a wildfire that was raging nearby an ammunition depot. More than 1,000 residents were evacuated from the area.